All right, guys, this week has all been about self. How can we build a family culture that is grounded in Christ? And I'll tell you what, it has been an impactful week. When you really think about your family culture, what is it right now? And what do you want it to be? Now, the verse, the scripture of the week, 1 Timothy 3, 4 through 5. He must be one who manages his own household well, keeping his children under control with all dignity. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household, how will he take care of the church of God? That is a very impactful scripture right there. I mean, Paul is really laying it out there for for Timothy there, speaking to the elders on how they need to lead. So how are you leading? So if I think back through Wednesday, go check out that meet episode where we brought in David Friedman. He unpacked so much around family culture. We talked about family fundamentals, defining who we want to be as a family, and then making those tips to, to really start making the changes that your current family culture has and how to apply them and actually start creating more rituals that's going to really make an impact. And we even talked about how you can start taking some of those tips and some of those rituals and start strengthening your marriage. Because if the family behaviors, if the, what's important from a fundamental standpoint for you as a, as a lion leading your family, they need to be important in your marriage too. Your kids aren't always going to be there. At some point, you will be an empty nester, prayerfully, and you'll be able to be, it'll be just you and your wife. So having those fundamentals, those behaviors rooted in what you do, how you lead your family, they're critical, absolutely critical. So go check out that episode. There was so much to unpack there. Grab a notepad because you may want to take some notes on that. A lot of good show notes as well. So go back for the meat episode this week. Now for our tips this week, our health tip. What I want you to think about this week from a, from a health standpoint, think about your rituals and particularly when it comes to being active. Okay. Now we're talking about family culture and rituals. I want you to think about your, just your, your activity rituals. What are you doing to be active? And one thing you could do, I've, I've been doing this for years. If you're finding exercise to be difficult, from, from a uh, you know, motivation standpoint, make a simple, try this. Start laying out your workout gear the night before, before you go to bed. So it's all laid out. So when you wake up in the morning, your, your shoes are there, your shorts, your, workout, your shirt, whatever you're going to work out in, it's all there. That's a little step that you can take that's going to make it easier to get started. Now, you still may not jump up and jump out to bed and just be ready to go you know, day one. But I think if you lay out that, that equipment that you want to wear, it will make a difference. It'll make it easier. Now, from a wealth tip, child financial literacy starts with you. Okay, so if you think about your family culture this week, consider that ways that you can start teaching your kids about finances. Because ultimately, they're learning all that from you. They're, or they're going to learn from somewhere else. So you got to meet the kids where they're at. So if they're a four-year-old, you're going to teach them different than a 12-year-old, obviously. But start with the basics, no matter what. Giving, saving, spending, investing. Teach them how to give. Teach them what saving is all about. Teach them what spending is all about. And teach them about some investing. And that's going to ebb and flow depending on where they're at. You know what? You need to take control of the narrative here. Because if you're going to teach them what personal finances look like, you're going to have to actually lean in and be intentional and act on this. So there's a wealth tip. Really lean into those kids. From a self tip, you need to define your family fundamentals. Go back to what David was talking about. You need to sit down this week, this weekend, with your wife and start laying out what those family fundamentals look like for you and your family. There may be 10, there may be five, there may be 30. Who knows? But you need to start implementing and creating, creating those fundamentals because then you'll be able to start transitioning those to the rituals that you want to have as a family to building the family uh, culture that you desire. So there you go, guys. Health tip, start laying out those clothes. Wealth tip, start really leaning into your kids on personal finances. It starts with you. And the self tip, you need to start working on those family fu- uh, fundamentals. Very important. Now, the book of the week. It's actually two because Mr. David wrote two books. So here they are, guys. We have Fundamentally Different and Culture by Design. Now, these are granite more business oriented books, but these can be modified easily to apply to your personal family structure and your family culture of what you want that to be. So check out the show notes for links to these two books, great resources written by David. David's a, just a, a wonderful man. Uh, as you, as he shared Wednesday, so many great tips. So I highly encourage you guys to check it out. So there are your two books of the week. 
All right, dad joke time. Let us know which ones work. Dad joke number one. What do you call a woman who's really good at darts? Amy. Okay. All right. There you go. Dead joke number two. My cloning experiments finally paid off. I'm so excited. I'm beside myself. So there you go, guys. Number one, what do you call a woman who's really good at darts? Amy. And number two, my cloning experiments finally paid off. I'm so excited. I'm beside myself. So let us know which one hits. Hopefully one of those gets, gets a chuckle out of you. Now, the question of the weekend, what I want you to be thinking about, we talked about it on Monday. Name one change that you would make that would impact your family culture that centers on glorifying Christ. And I really want you to focus on that centers on glorifying Christ standpoint. What's one thing that you could change? Not ask for five, not ask for 30. One. There's got to be one. Commit to it. Lean in on it. Guys, it starts with you. The family culture that you want starts with you. Go remember First Timothy. He must not, he must be one who manages his own household well. It's up to you guys. It's up to you. You have to be the one who leans in here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this entire week talking about family culture. If it's helped you, share it with someone else. Send us some quotes, some, some comments. Write us a note. Let us know what family fundamentals you started applying how they made an impact in your life. I'd also ask you guys to go check out our social media. I put a lot of work into social media every week because I want to put some encouraging information in front of you guys on a consistent basis. So every day, the line within us on our Facebook, on our Instagram, on our LinkedIn, Twitter, we're out there. We're putting content that we hope is going to be a break from the crap. Let's just be real. There is a lot of crap in our feed. I want to give you some positivity. So I highly encourage you. I'm asking you, go to our YouTube channel too. Subscribe there. Connect with us in all those different areas. Go to the website, thelinewithin.us, and join the Lion's Den. That's our email community. That's how we're building a group that's going to be able to help each other. Guys, we're not going to spam you. We're here to serve you. So if you're finding value, go check us out on those social media platforms. Share the podcast with some buddies. This is how it's going to grow. The line within us has seen success. It's growing, and it's only going to keep growing if you take actions. So, guys, it would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to the line within us. It would help us build this ministry as we try to help this grow and do the work for the kingdom. So, guys, leave us a five-star rating. Write a review. I know that stuff sounds silly, but I am telling you, it makes a difference. I hope you enjoyed this week. Remember 1 Timothy 3, 4 through 5. You are the one who can manage your household well. I know you can do it. I believe in you. The line within us is here to support you. So guys, now go out, have some fun this weekend, and unleash the lion within. At The Line Within Us, we discuss wealth a lot, and our sponsor at Investing for Beginners provides great resources for those wanting to take their knowledge of investing to the next level. Their monthly research e-letter is the best way to learn about the market and apply insight to begin growing your wealth. The newsletter tracks the founder's journey of managing a portfolio and shares how the decisions are made. For the beginning investor, this could be a great way to learn how to get started with investing from a company that is putting their money where their mouth is. I've been subscribing to their e-letter for quite some time, and it's something I look forward to every month, and I've learned a ton. They're a conservative group with an emphasis on a margin of safety. 
the Lion Within Us listeners can receive 15% off the monthly e-letter by visiting thelionwithin.us slash IFB, that's Investing for Beginners, and using the promo code LION at checkout. That's thelionwithin.us slash IFB, and use promo code LION to receive 15% off your monthly research e-letter. 